we're here at Hardware Sugar and we are assembling a 90,000 peso custom rig for a very special customer. And you know, we're always saying that we have jewel worthy inventory, pero kami yung napapatulo laway dito sa hardware components that this guy requested. So basically, we have an EVGA uh, GTX 1080 SC. So that means it's already overclocked. You don't need to do anything with the card. Just stick it into your computer and you'll enjoy the overclock speeds. Also of special mention is the NZXT H500i case. The I means that it's a smart case or meaning that it's already integrated with a smart controller. And we're gonna see this thing later with four AER RGB fans and then the included LED strip. So we have also gotten a B360 Gaming Arctic Mobile. Perfect for the Intel i5-8600. And rounding it out is a modular Corsair PSU RX 550. I was looking at the EVGA GTX 1080 box and I noticed that there's a big sign saying that if the thing is broken, don't send it back to the store. If you have been following Hardware Sugar, you know that we are very proud of our warranty policy. One year, just bring it back to us and we'll repair, refund, or replace the item. Basically, you know, we don't make you jump through hoops. We can, we don't ask you for the box and things like that. But, and that's, uh, that's our shop warranty. But it's refreshing to see a manufacturer actually take the time to tell its customers to say that it's okay, we got your back, you don't need to return it to wherever you got this from. We believe in our product so much that you just contact us directly for support. And kudos to EVGA. And actually the good thing about this customer was he already knew what he wanted. He wanted a white aesthetic. So we recommended the case, he was the one who specified the mobile. And we worked hand in hand with the customer to really give him what he wanted. It's a very special build for him. So, you know, that's really what we what we want from our customers. Like they have an idea in mind and we'll suggest some things and then we'll go back and forth. So it's really like uh, you're customizing a car or you're customizing a hot rod where, you know, tell us what you want and we will get it for you. And we will suggest like what's good, what's not. And let's have a dialogue on what you want. And it doesn't need to be 90,000 pesos worth. But regardless of your price point, we can get you the PC of your dreams. So. And because our client is looking for the white aesthetic, he wasn't happy with the stock cooler of the i5-8600. We have gone ahead and gotten an AOI, also with NZXT. This is NZXT's smallest uh, AOI, it's the Kraken M22. And basically, this is the side that you'll see. We'll have a better shot later once we install it. But this is the side that you'll see, and this is all LED as well. And then this is, of course, uh, the side that contacts with the CPU and the radiator. And the Kraken M22 is the smallest of the NZXT AOIs, so it fits perfectly in the H500i. And the fan, the fan that attaches to the radiator is also 120 millimeters so that's the same size as the AER RGB fans we have so we'll be able to use that instead of the stock fan that does not have any lights. First time we're working with NZXT products and the nice thing about them is that they come with an integrated lighting system. These are their RGB, AER RGB fans so you notice the lights will come out from here and if you get the proper case, if you get the I version of their cases, they come with a smart controller. So, and so you'll daisy chain up to five fans together and then you'll stick them, you'll stick the controller into the or into the smart box controller on in the case. And then you can use the NZXT CAM software to program the colors of your fans. <coughs> But the smart controller doesn't or is not able to talk to all of the add-ons. The smart controller talking to both the power strip and three AER RGB fans. Although based on the internet, that's not really possible. So I don't really know how our tech guys here did it. But we were able to get the 
on one channel, on the LED power channel, we were able to get the power strip and the three fans talking together, meaning that you could um, customize them in the cam software of the NZXT. But again, we don't, we can't guarantee that because you're not supposed to be able to do that. Again, I don't know how we were able to do it. However, our client wanted four fans so that just wouldn't do it for the three. So we ended up getting the additional U controller. So the U controller already comes with two channels. So basically you can stick in all of the all of your up to five fans on this channel and then all of your LED strips on this channel. So even though the I version of the cases come with a smart controller, you probably will need to get this U controller as well. And that's a bit you know, it's it's a bit annoying. I thought NZXT would have a more integrated approach to the whole process. And this thing doesn't come cheap. I mean, it's like, um, at Hardware Sugar, it's 3,000 pesos. It's probably more expensive in other places. So, you box does come with additional LED power strips. So, you can see four of them. And they are magnetic, so it's a lot easier to attach them uh, inside the case instead of having to twist tie them or having to screw them in place or however you are using double-sided tape these are very simple and magnetic and the tops come off the the ends and the tops come off so that you can integrate them on one circuit so again NZXT has a lot of nice touches that's why it's just a bit more frustrating that the smart controllers of the include included in the eye cases weren't as integrated or weren't as easy to use as I initially thought so we're about to deliver the H500i, the custom rig for our client, which eventually cost around 100,000 along with the AIO and the uh, U controller. But it's a really nice rig. We had a good time doing it. Although, admittedly, NZXT could have done a better job of explaining how to get all of the fans working together, how to get all of the LED strips working together, and things like that. So it's a bit of a learning curve to be honest. I thought it would be more user friendly since we decided to go with just one manufacturer for everything, for the case and for the fans and things like that. But to be honest, once we got everything going, the RGB looked really nice and I'm not really a fan of RGB. I mean, it doesn't really add anything to the performance of the rig and things like that. But once you have it going, it does really look quite nice. So. Is it worth it? Um, if you're into aesthetics, yes, I would say so. But you really do need to research on which manufacturer you are going to get into bed with, so to speak. Like, which RGB setup are you going to install? I would recommend NZXT, but that's only because I have experience with it now. If you're a first-timer, uh, be sure you read a lot of the forums and things like that before jumping in with NZXT. To be fair, the RGB of the RAM, the Corsair RAM, was pretty easy to set up. Their software, the Q Plus software, was intuitive and you just basically plug in the RAM. Really, a lot, uh, it was really a lot more difficult to do the fans and the LED power strips for the case.